that boring you? I just thought I saw someone looking at us. You're sweet. I can't believe how stupid I am. It was staring me in the face the whole time. Lucy has a boyfriend. Well, I can't stand for this. Okay, as your friend and an active member of Team Tom, I vow to end their relationship. I'm calling Lucy's landline, then hanging up. Her boyfriend will get suspicious, he'll realize she's going out with someone else, and then that'll be the end of the relationship. Who the fuck is this? He sounds tough. Are we prepared for this battle? What you got there? Huh? What'd you rent? Armageddon. Really? You know, a guy like you, I'd figure he'd already own Armageddon on DVD. I do. But I only have the bare bones. I can't afford the Criterion. You also can't afford to be friends with a guy like Tom. Well, what do you mean? He's a squirrel scammer, man. Uh, what? Uh, it's from the movie Bring It On. Oh, I know what it's from. I know you know. Rod. I just said your name. Yeah? How would I know your name? I don't know. <laughs> See, that's the turn. And here's the prestige. Who's your favorite actor? Nicolas Cage. Mine's John Travolta. Now, is it a coincidence that they both starred in Face Off together? No, it isn't. Now, is it coincidence that Tom scammed on both our squirrels? Huh? No. If you want revenge, you'll join forces with me. See, I'm already on your team. Now I need you on mine. Can I talk to you for a minute? Lucy is here. I repeat, Lucy is here. Copy that. The milk's expired. It d doesn't matter. It's just a prop. I told Dennis we needed milk. You mean your boyfriend, Dennis? That's what I want to talk to you about. He's not my boyfriend. He's my ex-boyfriend. Well, why do you live with him? Excuse me. Because I couldn't get out of the lease. Do you share a bed? There's only one. So yes? We have rules against touching. I better pay for this and get back. It kind of freaks out when I'm gone too long. Come on, Lucy. Don't you think it's, it's a little strange living with your ex-boyfriend? Sure, but I think it's common in New York. I really like you, Tom. Well, I really like you, too. So, can we make this work? I don't know. We can make this work. Okay. Okay. Finally, after six months of being single, one of us gets a kiss on the mouth. And we're going on a third date tonight. They're going on a third date. I repeat, they are. Rod's formed an alliance with Lucy's ex-boyfriend. How do you know that? I'm so Delta about it. Wait, so that, that's true? Yes, it is, Tom. And we're the best team since Cage and Travolta in Face Off. They were against each other. That's why it's called Face Off. Well, at least Cage didn't scam on Travolta's squirrel. No, he actually did. He had sex with his wife. Uh, so wait, so that's what this is about? I mean, you're harboring some grudge from six months ago? Mm-hmm. I can't live in a house where my squirrel isn't safe from scamming. And Lucy's ex understands that. And he's got an Xbox with an NES simulator. Do you have an Xbox with an NES simulator, Tom? No, I don't. Pathetic. I'm on team whatever, whatever Lucy's ex-boyfriend's name is. Goodbye forever. Ice cream and the data winner. You're really nailing our third date, Tom. That was a joke. I know. What's wrong? This, this is kind of weird. But your ex-boyfriend has turned Rod against me. Jesus, I'm so sick of his bullshit. Come on, let's go. Look, 
if we're gonna make this whole sharing a lease and a bed without dating thing work, then you need to fucking back off. And stop turning Rod against Tom. That's so not cool. It's a little immature. Got it? Grow up. The fuck was that about, dude? You took Rod. Yeah, but you're not supposed to bring my ex-girlfriend into this shit. That is not cool, Tom. Yeah, it's not cool. And you know what else is not cool? You stumbled into our fucking lair. That makes this a two-on-one battle. Two-on-one. Actually, I was tailing Tom. So now, it's a two-on-two. Two. Wait a second. You that son of a bitch that keeps calling here and hanging up? I'm just gonna go throw this out. Huh. Let's rumble, then. What, you mean like fight? Uh, yeah, rumble means fight. I'll rumble with Henry. Yeah, uh, keep in mind, I was in special gym. Oh, easy eats, then! <laughs> what? Easy eats. It means we're gonna eat you alive. I made that up. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I, like that. I, do too. <laughs> I also made up that I didn't have sex with Lucy. Oh, that means he did have sex with Lucy. <laughs> You're bragging about a fucking kiss? Big deal. I banged her on the 15th date. Let's rumble then. Okay. Would you please put these someplace safe? Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> well, there goes my trademark. Oh, oh. Uh, Tom, they're killing us. All right, all right, stop. All right, this is stupid. This is between me and Dennis. You're right. Let's take this outside, bitch. I can't see a damn thing. Did they leave? Oh, are you ready? You're going down like Leo in the Titanic, boy. Do we have to fight? Oh, you bet your sweet ass we have to fight. Are you crying? No. Yes. Fine, right? Sweet ass. It reminds me of my baby, Tom. I still love her, man. I, I don't know. You know. You know what I do in the morning when she leaves? No, what do you, what do, you do? I smell her pillow. It smells like her dreams. She's all I got, man. I ain't got no fucking job, huh? And, and you scamming on her is not cool, all right? Now, if you don't stop, I will fucking kill you. And I, I won't just kill you, I'll kill you like Stallone kills Snipes in Demolition Man. You're gonna freeze me and then kick my head off? Oh, you know it. The decision is yours, Tom. Her or me. Hey, Tom. This isn't working, is it? What is it? Well, I mean, our three dates it caused a lot of problems for Rod and, and Henry and Dennis and you. And the only one getting away scot-free is me, and, and I don't really want to be that selfish anymore. So what are we going to do? I'm sorry I had to end this way. Me too. But hey, if you ever live with someone you didn't date, you should give me a call. Will do. Bye, Tom. Bye, Lucy. Rod, sorry he turned on you. Did he say that? No. He was actually oblivious to the fact that he did anything wrong. But I just figured someone should say sorry. Is that attractive blur over there, Lucy? Yeah, that's Lucy. Does she look upset? Yes, actually. Well, I guess we learned a lesson then, Tom. It's just as hard out there for girls as it is for guys. No, it's harder for us. Come on, let's go. On the last bus home from Briarwood That's 
where I stumbled into you A good will smile And high heel hand-me-downs And all that baggage that came along with you Broken pieces slowly fade to gray At the bus stop where we pass the time 